this time I'd like to talk about ammo selection for your hunting handgun. Okay, traditional handgun ammo is designed for defensive purposes, law enforcement or personal defense ammo. It is not the ideal ammo for handgun hunting. In addition to that, most hunting rifles have bullets that are not suitable for handgun hunting. This is a 30 caliber rifle round. This is designed for expansion at longer ranges. Well, this is a 454 Casul. It is already a 45 caliber projectile. You don't need this bullet to expand as much as you need a 30 caliber to expand. Okay, so those are some of the things to keep in mind when choosing handgun ammo. The things that you want to look for is you need expansion at handgun ranges, but more importantly, you need penetration. If the bullet expands too quickly, you will not get adequate penetration. As the game gets bigger, that becomes more and more of a factor. These are some defensive style hollow point bullets that are not in any way, shape, or form suitable for handgun hunting. This, on the other hand, is a fully copper Barnes X bullet that is designed specifically for expansion and deep penetration. This is a jacketed flat point in a 454 Casul. This is very, very effective handgun hunting round. You have moderate expansion and deep penetration. So now that we've chosen the bullet, we need to understand shot placement. Shot placement is critical. The appropriate location is one third of the way up the body, just behind the front shoulder on all North American big game. That one third of the way up the body could be in different places. For instance, a black bear has a lot of hair, so where his body ends may not be exactly where you think it does. So you need to know the anatomy of the game animals that you're shooting, but it is always one third of the way up the body, just behind the front shoulder. That will put you in the heart lung area and dispatch the animal quickly and humanely it is imperative, it is your ethical responsibility as a hunter to follow up on every shot. Go to the last place you saw that animal, look for blood, look for hair, follow it. Even if there's a fleck of blood, it could be a dead animal and you not know it. The worst thing that can happen is that you maim an animal and it dies a needless death, unrecovered. It is your ethical responsibility to follow up on that shot. Okay, next time we're gonna talk about some accessories for your handgun hunt. Some things like holsters, rests, gloves, hearing protection, things that are all necessary for your comfort and safety during your handgun hunt. See you then.